Today we are solving one of the biggest pain points in FormKit. And if you're a Tailwind user, you are going to like this. We've been teasing it for a while, but I wanna show it to you now. It's actually live. Let's go. So here we have a relatively simple Nuxt application. It happens to be a job application form uh, to a work at FormKit. We've got a first name, last name, some autocompletes. Um, it's a relatively simple form. And let's go ahead and pull it up here. Just boot up the dev server. All right, good to go. And yikes, this is an absolute styling disaster. <laughs> What is going on here? Well, the truth is we didn't uh, provide any styles in this case. If you look at the uh, form kit configuration, we are not including any theme whatsoever. And so you can imagine if you needed to style this, especially using something like Tailwind, where you need to apply classes to every single DOM element, this is a nightmare. There has to be a better way. And so today we're announcing form kit themes. To get started, all you need to do, pull up a new browser, go to themes.formkit.com. And you can see that we are shipping two brand new themes. One is called Regenesis and one is called Starter. But for all you Tailwind fans out there, the exciting thing is these are Tailwind specific themes. So to get started, you can just copy this NPX FormKit theme. I'll come back into my project here and I am going to run this. Building theme Regenesis, theme file written to FormKit theme TS. So sure enough, here we've got a FormKit theme TS file and it exports something called root classes. And you can see underneath, it's got all the different classes that you're gonna to need to style FormKit. Okay, so we'll jump over here and we'll just import, import root classes from FormKit theme. And then we're gonna nestle that inside of config root classes. Okay, and then I just need to restart my dev server. There we go. I'll switch back over here to my browser. And here is our job application form, nicely styled with the Regenesis theme. And the Regenesis theme looks a lot like the previous Genesis theme, but it's actually much better, much more consistent across the board, and it's Tailwind specific, Tailwind first. Okay, so now what if I wanna change something about this? For example, this resume and language skills, I feel like this form would look better if those were spanning the full width of my uh, narrow body here. So let me jump back over here and I'm just gonna run npx formkit theme. Found a local theme file for regenesis. Edit this theme, yes. And when I do this, I actually go back to themes.formkit, but now I'm in an editor. And as you can see here on the left-hand side, we have a kitchen sink with every single formkit input, both the core inputs, the pro inputs, and, and even the add-ons. And on the right-hand side, I have a theme editor. So if I scroll down the page here, you can see that we have all of the inputs in their various states. So for example, when they have error messages, when they're disabled, in all of those dis different states, because that's half the battle when you're theming is trying to remember what states are available to theme. And as you might imagine, on the right-hand side here, I can just begin to change things. So I'm going to, let's add some additional rounding. I'm gonna change my highlight color here. So now you can see these will highlight differently. Um, I'm going to make the text actually smaller and decrease the spacing. I'm making some pretty dramatic changes. And then if I like the changes that I've made, all I have to do is hit save changes and this will actually write them right back to my file system. If I pop over here, pull this up as well, you can see that my changes have been reflected locally. Let's see how that works. Let's go with hard edges and really big. Save my changes, and you can see my local application actually updates with my changes in real time. It's incredible. Now, this theme editor allows us to not just edit one particular theme, you can actually switch the theme. So right now, the only other one is starter, and it's intended to be basic, but when you switch to starter, you can see that the variables inside of this theme actually change, and what's available to edit changes. Now, the reason it's that way is because you can actually create your own themes where you define what should show up in the editor. You can publish that to NPM. We'll include it right here on themes.formkit and it can get distributed to anybody. 
and you can decide which pieces and parts of your theme you think should be editable. And if you wanna change themes, it's literally as easy as that. You hit save and now my local project is using the starter theme instead. So that is FormKit themes. I think you're really gonna like it.